Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, this is Nina here with Heroes for Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. We are in our very last topic in chapter one. Today we're going to talk about constructing weather instruments. If you've been following along over the previous two weeks, we've talked a lot about weather. We've talked about the factors of weather. And we've even had opportunity to talk about the different types of instruments that are used to measure uh, the uh, weather factors. Today we're going to talk about just how to construct one. Now, if you have your workbook, you'll find that there are two um types of constructs that you can make to uh, pattern the rain gauge which is going to measure rainfall and also <clears throat> the wind thing today we're just going to uh put it to practice we're going to try and construct a wind vane so if you're ready let me tell you what you'll need you'll need a paper plate plastic cup a square and a triangle cut out of construction paper or some other firm type of paper. A straw. A pencil with a good eraser. A permanent pen or marker. And a, um, like a safety pen or any kind of clothes pen or any type of um, sharp pointy pen that you may have. And finally, you'll need some tape. So if you're ready, let's begin making our wind vane. On the wind vane, what you want to do is with your permanent marker and your construction paper or with your paper plate, you want to write north, east, south, west, something like this. You want to write the, because we're trying to create a compass on the paper, on the, the paper plate. So you want to write N-E-S-W, that's for north, east, south, west. And in between, you want to add the um, intermediate as well so that's going to be ne for northeast se for southeast sw for southwest and nw for northwest once you've done that make sure you have your two um shapes here we have a triangle and a, and a square or rectangle the reason is because the very next thing you're going to do is you will need a pair of scissors <laughs> but what you're going to need to do is cut slits right along your straw about half an inch slits if you look closely, you'll see that there are slits on both sides, slits on both sides. And what you're going to do is take, taking one of your shapes, you're going to just put it right in between these slits, something like that. And take your other shape, just squeeze it in between these slits. There you go. Aha. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your Pencil with the eraser up. So what we're going to do, let me find my, this pen. What we're going to do first, even before we do that, let's try to stick this pen, any kind of pen you may have, as long as it's sharp and pointy, it should do the job. But you want to stick it through your straw. It may take a little bit of force, so try to, try to squeeze it through there. Aha, there it is. And once you squeeze it through there, then you want to take your pencil and push this needle even through your pencil eraser. The purpose of this is so that whenever the wind is blowing, because we are creating a wind vane, and we've talked about wind vanes extensively in this class, but whenever the wind is blowing, we want this um, to move. We want it to, to go whichever direction the wind is going. And so far it's moving freely. You wanna make sure that you leave space here. If you look closely, there's space between the eraser and the straw. The reason that space is important so that it can move freely. After that, once you've got this part complete, you can just make this look as tidy as you as you want it to look. You can um, take a plastic cup or any type of rounded object. For me, this is a great option for me. And you just push this pencil all the way through. You may need to take scissors and cut a hole in between, right there in the center of the bottom of the cup. 
and then you want to push your pencil all the way through so let me try you may it may need you may need a little bit of force so ask a parent to help you don't feel embarrassed or ashamed to ask for help okay once you push that all the way through you may think this is sufficient by itself oh okay this is ready i'm going to take it outside however um this is not going to be completely ready because the moment you take it outside to see which direction the weather's you know going Firstly, you don't, you want to make sure it comes with your compass, your, um, we call it compass rose. You want to make sure you, it comes with this. And you also want to make sure, um, that the wind doesn't take it away. Cause if you just place it outside like this, the wind is going to, uh, give your cup and your newly made wind vane a, a lift. And so we want to make sure it stays. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape this, tape the edges down to the bottom. Uh, tape, tape it downward so um, using whatever whatever you have that's sticky you can even use glue if you have some really good glue I have masking tape so I think this would be best for me and you'll just uh, tape it all the way around and this will just keep it stationary so remember if it's not stationary it's going to grow legs and go away and we don't want that so add tape all the way around, just uh, taping the edges down to the to your paper plate, to your compass rose, and voila! Just that quickly, you're all done. You have your um, cup taped to your plate, and um, something you might consider doing, especially for days when it's really windy, you might consider adding weights inside your cup. What that means is you can add something that's going to keep the plate. Down. So if you want to, before taping it, if you want to add, let's say, some rocks, or if you want to add, let's say, some uh, some pebbles or sand, you can do that and then tape it down. And that'll just be an extra layer of security to keep this from flying away. But boys and girls, if you've done this so far, you are ready. You have a wind vane. Take it outside. Make sure you place this north. Make sure you place it facing north. So that whenever the wind is blowing, you can follow the triangle. You remember you're looking at the triangle. Follow the triangle to, to, to determine which way the wind is blowing. So you may want to go to your, uh, ask your mommy or daddy to help you find out which direction the, um, is north or which direction is east, or which direction is south, and which direction is west. If you don't have mommy or daddy, uh, that they don't know, you could just turn to your compass inside your phone if you have an application like this. Oftentimes iPhones come with it and it'll tell you this way is southwest, this way is west, this way is east so that you can use that for guidance. And in any situation, once you find out, face it, place it north or any direction, leave it there and get ready to know at all times which direction the wind is blowing. Boys and girls, I hope you had a great time doing that. I certainly had some fun. Please take time to complete your activity in the back of the worksheet. Uh, activity IG and I think it'll give you just further uh, security with your knowledge bank concerning how to construct how to predict and how to and everything about change we have on um, uh, lesson G we talked about um, constructing um, this particular object and also we've talked about um, even what it is how to use a compass you know you want to make sure you're using your compass rose and if you had a chance to go through grade one, you will know how to read a compass rose very well in our science and math class. We review those topics as well. If you do not, if you're not comfortable with compass roses yet, that's okay. Just uh, maybe do a review in our uh, previous videos or you just go online, ask mommy and daddy to help you and I believe they can help you do that. Thank you so much for coming to class, being a part of today's lesson. Until next time, remember, Jesus loves you, as do we. God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend.